All right, guys, let's move forward. So we're gonna open this door really quick. I'm gonna shut it. It's because I'm in creative mode, I don't believe they're gonna follow me. See, this is the loudest area. It's because there's the most monsters spawned over here. And this is one of the spots where they can fall in. So this door right here has a chest, and the idea is that, you know, they know that there's lava underneath them, so they're probably not going to want to trust this chest. And there actually usually is supposed to be something in here. I'm going to put some food back in, because I think a player must have taken that when they went through. I'll put... That's not even close to two. There. Anyway, so that's just supposed to be a trick. So it shows that they can't always trust it. And here we come across the next Crimson Anagram. It says, Pass through the Valley of Flames. So this is the spot where if you go on one side of the flames, you'll fall all the way through. So I believe it's this side. Yep. Okay, so we were safe. But if the player had gone through on this side of the flames, they would have fallen to the bottom into some lava on the other side. So going further in, go down here and we come to my favorite room. This room is great because there's so many things going on here. For one thing, we have some spawners down here, so there's a lot of skeletons. But the other thing is, is if you didn't notice, which I'm sure you players did, we had some switches over here that if stepped on, there's also some lava dripping up above, some lava will pour on them and they won't be able to get through this path. And if they fall down this way, there's a bunch of skeletons who could also just shoot them. So, I really loved this puzzle. Um, one, I will trip one of them on purpose, because what one of them does is it just pushes you off onto the ground. Okay, so going forward, Basically what the players would have to do is they'd have to jump over each switch and be very careful and try not to hit the ground. Otherwise, you know, there's they'll be attacked by the monsters below. When they go into this room, they come across a bunch of amethysts. <laughs> I don't know why my mind was spacing on what they're called. And they find the next crimson anagram. And it says travel through the dark to find the treasure. So this one I also especially like. You drop down and there's a bunch of monsters spawned all around. What the players are supposed to do is they come through here, no continuing the tunnel. I do want to just say really quickly, this is one of my favorite rooms because I love the idea of players falling through and then they're totally surrounded in a cave. They don't know what to do but they need to move forward fast. So the players come over here. Uh, let me go through there. And they come and they encounter the next maze. So it, I'm just going to walk through and go the correct path, but it goes for quite some time, this maze. In fact, I don't think I chose the right path at all, but that's okay. Up oh, here it should be. Yep, okay, I found it. And the next thing we're going to do once we get to the end of it here is we're going to explore this next section once I drop down this hole.